super excited to be going live. I'm going to just kind of ease in a little bit slowly in case some are just joining before I even say who I am. Thanks for doing the challenge. Thanks for watching the video. All that good stuff. I'm Dean Crabb. I say Dean Crab with two B's because it's gimmicky and people can remember it. I'm a worship musician, a worship song leader. Uh, I've been a choir director. I'm a music educator. I'm a guitarist. I want to sing praises to the Lord and I want to encourage others to do the same thing. And I'm also uh, working on a course to teach anybody in the world to read written music as a singer. And uh, there's some definite reasons why I want to do this. For one, I can't work for anybody anymore. I'm just too old to tolerate it. <laughs> My life of vocation for others has not been the most fun thing and not been the most rewarding. And I do know that it's going to be really hard work. It already is for me to work for myself. But that that's the most rewarding thing because I, I can decide what it is exactly that I'm going to do with the work that I do and who I'm going to reach. I'm talking right now, I guess, about the why of why I do what I do. Uh, I'm a video, music video and music education video content creator. I've been doing that for a couple years now, seriously. Uh, I've had some success a little bit, uh, not monetarily yet, but I'm definitely building an audience. I've got about 500 followers on Facebook about 400 on Instagram and very close to a hundred subscribers now on YouTube and it's a very loyal audience. I try to make sure that I provide quality content for them and mostly I don't see them drop off. Mostly they stay. It's a slow build of my audience but that definitely works for me because my goal is just to get I don't know a thousand true fans to do about a hundred dollars worth of my educational content per year and that would be a pretty good living. I'll think about going higher than that later when I achieve that but for now that's a good goal for me to set. I'm working on a music course right now and it's really difficult meticulous work to try to figure out how to build it especially tech wise. I'm good at my craft as far as the musicianship goes. I mean I've been studying music for about 50 years uh, but to all translate it to video, engaging video where, where the visual really helps students learn is quite a task. I'm glad we have AI chat now to help us learn the things that we need to learn to do what we need to do. Another reason I'm doing what I'm doing is there's just too much negativity out there in the social media world. Far too many people are criticizing each other, stifling each other's progress, I noticed one thing, and I did a video on this recently too, a short video. Uh, people like to criticize people's musical efforts as not being good enough or whatever that is. And to me, that's a misunderstanding of what music is. Music is an expression that God has given us. He's already got the sounds and the rhythms and all that. We express it through our efforts in a very heartfelt thing that we're giving to the world. Performance, uh, competition, these kinds of things are our constructions and they're good as far as they go, but it isn't what music really is. And in the spirit of what music really is, there's no bad music from anybody that's sharing it from the heart. <laughs> so <laughs> what I say, and it's in one of my recent shorts, if you're putting somebody's music down in comments on the web, you don't even understand what music is. <laughs> and I stand behind that. And we need to live in this world today now, in this self-publishing age especially, where we stand behind our work and we stand behind our efforts. We don't need the approval of publicists and managers and record producers and all this stuff anymore. We just press record and then we press publish. And if people like it and they give us good feedback, fantastic. And if they don't, well, we don't worry about them. We focus on the ones that do like it and we serve those people. I love being part of that community. I love encouraging others to be part of that community. And I want the whole world, if they can, if they're willing to put in the work, to learn how to read written music as vocalists because far too many singers think, oh, I don't need that 
they don't know how it would unlock their creativity if they did know that. That's the why of what I do. My day-to-day -day is um, I get up and I start working on content or I start practicing my music again. And I'm very fortunate that I have an environment that allows that because I come from a, a marriage, 30 years, it's broken now, where I wasn't allowed to do that even though that's always been the person that I am. And I'm very grateful for the freedom and I'm grateful for the time that I've got to spend with my ex-wife and I'm grateful for her absence now. Life has its chapters and I'm working really hard on this one. Work, rest, work, rest, work, rest, and a little bit of play. That's my day to day and it's working for me. My three-year dream is three years from today there'll be a very significant, I don't know how big or how small, but I'm excited about how loyal I think others will be and I will be to them. Uh, a, a community of learners of this thing that I'm teaching, which is how you look at music on a written page and sing it and it's much more possible than people realize. It's just a matter of putting in the work. And if you play a musical instrument, learning this task will only enhance your ability to do that as well. And you can do a little bit with this or a lot with this. You can become a, a master vocalist in a chorale. You can become a choir director like I've been. Uh, or you can just have fun with it and improve your abilities and your self-confidence. In any case, I know it's a great service to the world to do this, and I don't think there's enough of it out there of this particular niche, so that's why I do what I do. My three-year dream is that I'm still going to be doing this, and there's going to be a substantial community of people that are involved in it, a loyal community, a fun community. And I like the example that some of my mentors make in community building and community maintaining. It's a beautiful thing. Luria is one of the best at this. Thanks for watching. If you're watching... I hope this worked. I'm not a live broadcaster yet. I don't see anybody in comments, but I think I did successfully share a live video. <laughs> I hope so. If not, I loved hearing myself talk. Have a good day. Have a good challenge. See you in the next video.